Hey guys, it's Jesse here. Uh, I'm going to do another tutorial uh, for attorney marketing. And this particular one is focused on uh, local um, SEO fundamentals. I made myself a little list here. And because the Google My Business profile uh, has become so important, we're going to focus on that first. So here I have uh, an example of um, a cool law firm. And uh, you uh, should already have access to your Google My Business by now. And if you don't, I'm going to really quickly here. Um, you want to go to maps.google.com and the first thing you want to check is make sure there's no duplicates. So let's say I want to, um, I want to look my own business up and uh, I, I type it in and I click it and I notice that there's two. Now this is okay because there's multiple locations. One is in um, a different uh, nearby city. And so I want to make sure that there aren't duplicates. Uh, sometimes you're going to run into where uh, it ha Google may have created one, you know, before, if you've been around a while, it might have created one without you even knowing. So you want to check that and make sure that um, you've claimed it. And there will be a button here, you know, is this, is this me? Um, and you can, you can claim the business. It may even show up even though verify info. Let's see here. This one, this one won't show that because I've already claimed it. It shouldn't anyway. I hope not. Um, so you're going to want to check that out make sure that's you make sure it, you know, it's, it's the real deal. Um, and uh, that's step one. So let's say you do have that. Then you're going to go to business.google.com. Now, in a previous video, um, I talk about exactly how to create your uh, categories. And it's, it was, it's a video worthy because there's a lot of details in there. But the first thing we want to do is get this information uh, to be dialed in. Um, and we need it to be exactly, you know, pretty much perfect. Um, and it's going to change over time. But you want to get these, the name. Uh, your name, address, and phone number have to be identical to where you have it everywhere else on the web. So, for example, I know a lot of attorneys, it seems like they are doing, um, they'll have Skelton Law Firm PLLC, you know, or Inc., or, you know, or whatever else they've got in some places, and then they've just got Skelton Law and some others, and they've got Skelton Law Firm and some others. Every time you, ha you change even a subtle thing about it, to you, to a human brain, it's like, that's the same name. But to the computers, that's a totally different uh, name. All right, so uh, Google My Business Profile. You gotta ensure there's no duplicate Google My Business Profiles and make sure it's correct 100%. So you got correct name, address, phone number, and landing page URL, the correct categories, hour, service, business description, and more. So you're gonna need to go through here. And um, in another video, I go into how to choose these, but you wanna make sure that whatever it has found as your address is correct. Now, be careful about making any changes to this. Every time you change an address, in particular, like name, address, phone number, but especially address, Google, it, it flags Google's algorithm, and they have to verify. And sometimes they make you re-verify by sending that pesky postcard in the mail, uh, which you could be waiting anywhere from three to five days or longer. It may or may not ever even come, and then you got to redo it until you get it. And, it's, and if you have somebody at the office that doesn't know to look for it, and they throw it in the trash because it looks like junk, uh, it's just a, it's a terrible thing. And it's it's so important nowadays. It's like people treat it. This is the problem with this is they when you get a postcard and it looks like junk mail, people throw it away. They don't realize that they're throwing thousands of dollars away. And because they're like, oh, it's pennies and it's stupid. Who cares about Google my business? No, it's literally that important to your SEO, to your to your visibility online. It's it's so important that it might even be more important than your website nowadays. Um, so that is that's how important that postcard is. So be very careful about that. Make sure the hours are correct. Uh, make sure you've listed, um, you know, any special days that you're closed. Um, also, this can be done, by the way, we have an app in my agency where we can update it here and everywhere else from the one app. But even if you don't use an agency or have some special software for this, just go to your Google My Business and make sure that this is up to date. Um, and, and, and all, you know, some of these things are updating changes here, but make sure the website is correct and that it's listed the same everywhere. So we decided to use HTTPS without the WW and, um, that is the root domain. That is our actual domain name. It's the, and it's a secure, you know, asset with the SSL certificate. So it's secure. Um, and we've just decided to use that everywhere. But once you start doing that, use that everywhere, everywhere you put your website. Um, and then services, make sure you've got those filled out. Uh, services is kind of a funny area because it's like, well, what's the difference between categories and services? For an attorney, what, what I would do is you want to repeat a lot of the keywords here, but get more specific. So think about your categories. They, they tell you which ones you can choose anyway. I mean, there's only so many choices. But when you get down to services, think a little bit more creative. Like what are the other keywords that you want? What are the specific things that you can drill down into? Like, for example, bankruptcy, there's a lot of different kinds of 
you know, it's chapter 7, 13, 11, 12, that, you know, there's protection, there's different words that people will be looking for. And so we drill down a little deeper into those. And when you, when you edit them now, um, and I haven't done that with this one yet, and I need to, but now with, um, with this, uh, because of these different categories, we actually need to put some of these subcategories under the right area. Like estate planning attorney is where wills, uh, trust and, uh, and power of attorney would be. So actually, I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to say wills. So add a custom service, wills. I'm going to put that there. Uh, we're going to add another one, trust. We're going to add another one, power of attorney. You might go, well, is that a, a service? Like what? You know, does <laughs> Jesse, what's he talking about? Well, remember the way the robots think here, okay? They're kind of getting smarter every day, but at the same time, in a way, they're still kind of dumb. These are keywords. Right. So these are things that we want to have available for keywords. Now, in this primary category, I don't think that this is as relevant. So I'm actually going to get rid of this here uh, and not have it here. And it's just think of it like a, you know, like basically an outline on a, in a on a Word doc. You know, you, you have your bullet points and then you have one and, and or you have a one, B one, you know, you know, and then and then and then subcategories of it and try to think about it in that way and use this in that manner. So you wanna flesh out all of the details of everything you can think of. We could probably do a lot more in here. Um, you know, we could add stuff to the bankruptcy services. This could be where we talk about bankruptcy protection, um, which is you think, well, is that really even something that an attorney really does? Well, yeah, you do uh, in, in a roundabout way. I mean, it's not like those debt consolidation companies or something, but this is something, and maybe I'd have it on both categories now, um, you just want to think through this and try to add as many details as you can to this section. And it's a really underutilized area of, of, the, um, of the info area of the business, Google My Business um, deal here. So moving on to the next thing. So I, what's on my list here? Um, upload at least 20 photos to Google My Business and optimize the photos. So the, after you get done with filling all this out, to the best your ability, put your description in there. Um, you know, we might even want to add some of these amenities. Do you have wheelchair access? Everything you can, really. You're going to add photos. You can click here or you can click in the photo section on the left. So what I like to do is somehow the logo got updated a bazillion times here. That's a mistake. So <laughs> uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I need to fix that. So now, now you're noticing, what do, what do I have to go through here? But the by the owner pictures, by the customer pictures, somebody had a, uh, the Google probably automatically created that or one of those people that walks by and got the side of the building, which is odd. Uh, video, interior, exterior. So we got some work to do at work, the team, identity and team. So we got the team and the identity pictures, logo and cover. Uh, this is this is obviously needs to change. Um, that's really odd, right? So uh, let's see if we can do that from right here. Because yeah, I know we have a million of them. Oh, so here's the other photos. Interesting. Now, where are these coming from? These are coming from uh, the posts, okay? So what we need to do for this client is we're going to need to eat, add at least 10 pictures. I would say at least 20. I even put 20 on my list here. Because these are going to show up in searches. And you get those stats, um, you get those stats. You can see right here the queries. You can see where people are coming from. And you can actually see the, the customer actions, where they are, the phone calls, and photo views. So what we're, we can even see businesses like you, who's competing. So our photos are getting viewed even though the logo is on there a thousand times, right? Um, and obviously, uh, the um, owner photos are being seen and there's not very many customer photos. So we, this is actually a part of the search. Who would have thunk, you know? Like when we first started SEO, it's all about the website, all about this and that. And now because Google loves its own products, like Google My Business, these are getting searches. I mean, you know, just a month worth, this is a lot of search volume on photos. Now, if somebody clicks on that and it leads them to their website, they do a search and your photo pops up, it, there's a chance they can end up over here and ending, ending up on your website or just calling you directly from, directly from the listing. And so we do have calls. Look at this, 11 calls, uh, 38 total actions in the last month. This is significant. These could turn into cases. That's a lot of money. So uh, when you upload your pictures, you're going to optimize them. So if we go to photos, now this one, uh, I, like I said, a lot of bad examples here. Uh, this is the type of thing you got to look for. Why did this happen? And why does it keep happening, right? 
So we had somebody try to upload it and then upload it 47 times. Right? So we can probably delete a whole bunch of these. And, and I would start doing that. I'm going to start deleting these. And it's not even a clean, the cleanest version of the logo, right? Delete, delete, delete. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but just giving you an example. Okay. Now, when I have this, uh, let's say this one here, um, it allows me, there's information on the photo just a little bit, but there's not much else going on there. So what you want to do, uh, let's say, let's say when we add, I think I can do that. It's hard to do it from here. What you want to do is do it when you upload a photo. So let's say I'm going to add a photo. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, let's see here. Do I have one ready to go? I don't have one ready to go. I'm not going to make you watch that. But once you enter it in, it uploads it right here, and then it has a place for a caption. So what you want is you want to alter the caption. You want to make sure that that caption on there is something that uh, it, it has the keywords in it or the name of your business in it. I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Just know that it's this from this screen. You're basically able to uh, upload and then change the caption. So always add that caption in there with the keywords. When I, also, what I mean by optimize, I mean make sure that the photo is not so huge that it takes forever to load. Um, it should load pretty quick. So you may have to go into the photo and save it as a smaller size. Okay, so that might be something else you do. But these are just some quick tips on how to get started. This is uh, going to be in a series. I'm going to continue next time showing you more about how to optimize this and then what else we're going to do in, S in our SEO attorney series. Uh, again, you can reach us at stoddardagency.com, S-T-O-D-D-A-R-D, agency.com. You can ask us questions, and um, I can give you a list for all kinds of stuff to help you out here with attorney SEO. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.